I'm going to be doing this LEEX8 guide a little bit differently from what you guys might expect. LEEX8 is actually quite a simple stage because the boss himself is someone who hurts himself over time. So it ends up being a thing where you don't have to throw all your boss killers at him, but rather you take your time at killing the smaller mobs instead. So because of that, I'm actually going to offer a full on high rarity strat straight away. If you guys want a lower rarity variant, a person who I advise to watch might be someone like Black Rosemary on YouTube. He does a Chen Auto strategy that uses very few low rarity operators. And that's pretty easy to follow. Over here, I'm going to fool around a little bit, show you guys the general idea for how to beat the stage, and also chat with you because there's a lot of free time in the stage. So let's see how these five operators do the trick. Ellie EX8. Play Go Cadence. I'll start by placing Silver Ash first, right over here. And then I'm also going to put a Blue Poison over here facing upwards. I'll turn on Silver Ash skill just to shrink shrink these enemies away. And then I'll retreat him so that I can put in a Ken Alter right in the middle of the map. So Blue Poison is going to handle the right side. The main idea for the first 6 enemies, as you see we're approaching number 6 on the top counter, is that you need to set up a left side and a right side so that you can kill those starting enemies. Afterwards, for the remaining ones, after the 6th enemy, you're using Chen Outer to deal with them, just as you see. So find any operators that you know that can deal with the left 3 enemies and the right 3 enemies. I'm going to replace uh, Gravel with a Silver Ash back again. And I'm going to put a Nightingale here, in the middle. Nightingale is great because she gives extra resistance. Very helpful for the stage. Okay, we'll wait until the enemy casters appear. Now, once the caster on the right has dropped to a very small amount of health, just ignore it, let your sniper deal with it. You need Chen's skill to pop up just in time for the later enemies, hence you don't want to overdo it. Alright, it's all set up. I need to keep Silver Ash there so that I can give Chen the SP regen that she needs. Feel free to turn on Nightingale's skill to give extra resistance. If you're not using Nightingale, what you can do in this stage is you have two medics. One medic here and one medic by the side in order to give enough healing. Use Gravel to bait the caster's attack and then turn on Chen skill to remove the casters. Now I can remove Silver Ash, not needed anymore. I can also remove the sniper. And it's just a matter of leaving Chen skill on. I'll use a gravel so that the boss is hitting gravel instead. Then I can remove everyone okay. from the stage. So like I said, a lot of free time. From here, just chill. So you'll see the boss walking all about and then losing his HP until he drops to 1. So some of the things that I feel are on people's minds when playing AK right now is, is Arc Knight is becoming a harder game? To which I would answer, yes, I think the game is becoming harder. And is it going to be reaching a point where we should be afraid? I wouldn't say necessarily so, because for a lot of the content, uh, the normal stages and the EX stages, the developers will always do it in a way where you can still clear it with a bunch of low rarity operators. Of course, the benchmark for low rarity operators become a bit tougher. Like yes, maybe you can do it with all three stars for maybe an EX4 or EX5 stage, but the deployment that you need is going to be so minute and specific. So that isn't going to be for a casual player to experience. But even so, the game will tweak itself in order to still remain comfortable for most players to play. And it is important for the game to become tougher as well. Because if not, the players who have played for 3 years for example, will feel like the game is just getting boring and stale because it's not really improving. It's like the same thing over and over again. So bear with it that the difficulty is increasing. At the end of the day, if you really struggle in the stages, we've got videos to teach you, to help you. But 
still try your best to learn with the game. There's always going to be new mechanics to spice things up, to make every single content a very interesting one to experience. Anyways, uh, I'll place a sniper here and a gravel here as well. And then let's turn on Chen's skill. And also Silvash's skill. Silvash will remove the slugs on the right and then blue poison on the left. Now I can remove Silver Ash. I can remove the left side as well. I'm gonna turn on Nightingale skill. And then it's just waiting for Chen to remove the enemies in the middle. There you go. And then I can remove everyone. Some of you are also afraid of the idea where will modules become necessary for clearing content in the future? Well, it's probably not going to hit that point. All these stages are still going to be made in a way where even if you have a whole bunch of E1s, only having a few E2s will be okay for you to clear. But you don't need something like the level 3 module in order to definitely clear a stage. That's a bit different if we talk about high risk CC though. Because high risk CCs, if you want to get that max risk that some of you crave for, then maybe you do need those high level modules. But normal content, not a chance. At least for the next year of Arknights, I would say. Um, but of course, with modules that you put onto your operators, it will help to make your game content easier. If some of you, even after playing this game for years, you still struggle to play certain stages, then modules are a great thing for you to try out and give yourself an easier time to chill. I'll place a Nightingale there, along with a Chen Alter. The next few events of AK is going to be like a roller coaster, right? Some of them are going to feel pretty easy, other, others are going to be quite a challenge for us to take. So, I'll be with you guys throughout this entire thing. But sometimes I do wonder, will I truly be constructing guides forever for you guys? Maybe not? I would think about it, I would still love to make videos, but guides, it's a bit of a different story because it's a lot of effort in order to make good guides for you guys. If not, I hope you've enjoyed my time in LEEX8 and I shall see you guys in a lot more videos with regards to the anniversary to come. Alright, thanks for watching, see you guys.